We are in the middle of sea turtle nesting season, and despite the blistering heat, they are thriving. But these scorching summer temps and increased pollution are threatening the future of this keystone marine species that's been around for 110 million years. Here's Louie Aguirre with tonight's Don't Trash Our Treasure. We've had a, a record setting season so far this year. It's just after daybreak on Fort Lauderdale Beach, and I'm riding with a crew from Broward Sea Turtle Conservation Program at Nova Southeastern University. That's one of our nests right there. Checking in on the nests that have been laid along the shore here over the past couple of months. In over 30 years of monitoring in Broward County beaches, mm -hmm. we've already shattered our number of nests for all three species, leatherbacks, green turtles, and loggerheads. An increase of 1,200 nests so far this year. We've seen about 4,200 nests, and we're still getting nests each day. And that's a good number. That's a fantastic number. That? This nest here just hatched three days ago. Out of 95 eggs, 68 hatched. And there's still life here. Oh my God. Hatchling. Oh my <laughs> That'll God. That'll work. <laughs> 18 baby loggerheads. Though the majority of hatchlings had already left the nest, these here needed an extra boost to go on their way. And we usually are going to find a few hatchlings that maybe didn't make it out with everybody else, whether they were a little bit tired, or maybe they got stuck in a root or something like that. That was really beautiful. Because we found them before 9 a.m., FWC allows them to be released to the sea. Otherwise, they'd have to be held and wait till nightfall to avoid them becoming prey to crabs and seabirds. It's estimated that one out of every thousand turtles that leave the beach will make it to adulthood. In fact, many species of sea turtles are threatened or endangered. Well, the sea turtles face a, a wide variety of, of threats. Once they get into the water, seabirds, fish, sharks, unfortunately, everything else they deal with is our fault. Right now, scientists are closely monitoring rising global temperatures, the whole world in the throes of the hottest summer so far ever recorded on the planet, impacting the future of these tiny hatchlings. The sex of the hatchlings is actually determined by the temperature of the sand that they're incubating in. According to a recent study, if the temperatures of the sand stay below 81.86 degrees Fahrenheit, the hatchlings will be born male. But anything above 88.8 .8 degrees means they'll be born female. Sand temps between those two ranges means a mix of genders and essential for the survival of the species. Right now we're seeing potentially as much as 100% of our hatchlings, um, at least at certain times of the year, that are leaving South Florida beaches are female. But if the planet gets any hotter, the future for all hatchlings is in jeopardy. As things get too warm, um, and it can reach a critical temperature where the eggs will not survive. And it's not just climate change. Some oceanfront properties still are not complying with state law mandating sea turtle friendly lighting. Dead turtles. And continue right? to endanger baby sea turtles who become disoriented in bright light and wander into danger. And so we really ask people to implement turtle friendly lighting in their homes, their businesses, which is low to the ground, it's shielded and it's long wavelength, amber or red LED is best. But perhaps the biggest threat continues to be pollution and our obsessive addiction to plastic and balloons. Some of our species of sea turtles are eating jellyfish, so that plastic bag looks just like a jellyfish in the water. They ingest it and then it just gets caught up inside of them and they'll eventually die. The deck is stacked against our sea turtles. That's why this team is so dedicated to the mission. From March to the end of October, rain or shine, they're out here protecting the turtles we have left making sure this keystone species survives for generations to come. The best part of the job is getting to see all the hatchlings and knowing that you are helping them as best as you can. It's really great. They are adorable. That never gets old. It's an amazing thing to witness. And the most important thing you can do to help our sea turtles is to leave the beach as clean and as natural as you found it. Don't leave holes or sand castles. Baby turtles get stuck in those. Don't litter, don't release balloons in the air. Also, sea turtles are protected, so if you see them, enjoy them from a safe distance. It is illegal to touch them, harass them, or disturb their nests in any way. We have more info on our website, local10.com. In the newsroom, I'm Louis Aguirre, Local 10 News.